Out of Bismarck's opinion regarding German colonies changed more than once during his time as Chancellor. Prior to the unification of Germany, Russia was several times in a position to gain control of land outside Europe. One reason as to why that never happened was Bismarck's dislike for colonial conquest. In a letter, he explained his dislike. It is written by him that colonies have little to no benefits for their own country, for the cost of founding as well as maintaining them far exceeds the benefits. Moreover, he wrote that Prussia's fleet is not strong enough yet to protect any possible colony. Following the unification, Bismarck's opinion did not change. He was one of many who refused the idea of annexing the French colony Cochin, China. In his eyes, the German Empire should engage in trade with other nations, but not occupy any land. However, an increasing number of Germans didn't agree on such view. In their eyes, it was necessary for Germany to obtain colonies, for it was an indication of having achieved nationhood. It was most likely a combination of this, as well as the fear of falling back behind other European nations, that led to the Chancellor's change of opinion between 1879 and 1880. He introduced a new policy to protect Germany's economy from foreign competition, including its trade. In order to secure its import and export markets, the newly formed empire had to expand outside Europe. In 1884, by participating in the scramble for Africa, Bismarck managed to acquire large parts of said continent for the German Empire. This caused great joy to the German people, save one man. The man responsible for his own country's expansion. For in the very next year, the Chancellor changed his mind again. He abandoned his colonial drive and did not want to settle more land, because he saw them as a burden and an expense. While some wanted to conquer more territory, he wanted nothing to do with them, even considering selling them.